Hello, in this video we are learning section 6.3, which is about the HL triangle congruence theorem. The HL triangle congruence theorem says that if you have the hypotenuse and a leg of a right triangle matching the hypotenuse and leg of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So one of the most important things that you need to know about the HL triangle congruence theorem is that it only works on right triangles. Okay, so if I'm looking at this picture, the only way for us to know that these triangles are right triangles, if it has the little boxy symbol in the corner, or it is labeled 90 degrees, that's the only time that we can assume triangles are right triangles is when it's labeled. Now, in a right triangle, the two sides that make up the right angle are called legs. And the side across from the right angle, which is also always the longest side, is called the hypotenuse. So for the HL theorem, we need the hypotenuse of one right triangle to match the hypotenuse of the other right triangle and one leg to match another leg. Again, really important, we always check for the right angle before we use the HL triangle congruence theorem. So let's look at example one. Determine whether the two triangles are congruent. Explain your reasoning. Well first, we have a right angle, that's important. So now we need to check if we have the hypotenuse and at least one leg matching up or being congruent. Well, this symbol tells me that the hypotenuse matches up, but we have, other, we have no other congruency markings on these two triangles. So while the hypotenuse matches up, we do not have a leg matching up. So we do not have enough information to say that these two triangles are congruent. Example number two. Again, we're going to look at these two triangles and decide if they are congruent. Good thing we have a right angle. Now, let's make sure we have the hypotenuse and at least one leg matching up. Well, the hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. Those are congruent. And we have a leg being congruent. So yes, these two triangles are congruent, and our reasoning is the HL theorem, hypotenuse leg. And our last example is our proof. We always start with our given information. So given that J and L are right angles, and we are given that K is the midpoint of JL and MN. So let's write our given information in the top. Angle J and angle L are right angles. That is given. And K is the midpoint of J, L, and M, N, which is also given. What we are trying to prove that the two triangles are congruent always goes in the bottom box. Now we just have to figure out what goes in the middle. And to do that, we need to use our given information. So if K is the midpoint, K is the midpoint of JL. Well, midpoint means directly in the middle. So this side would have to be the same as this side. So JK would need to be congruent to KL. And that's because of the definition of midpoint. Also, since K is also the midpoint of MN, 
this side of MN would need to be congruent to this side. So NK is congruent to KM. Again, because of the definition of midpoint. And now that we have two right triangles with a matching hypotenuse and leg, we know that these two triangles are congruent because of the HL theorem.